Hello everyone. Now let's have a look on this question here. This question says that there is a cone which is 20 meters in height and it has a vertical angle of 60 degrees. This cone is cut on the middle of its height by a plane which is parallel to its base so that we obtain a first term and then we are said that this first term is drawn into a wire whose diameter is 1 by 16 centimeter and we have to find the length of this wire. So let us first understand what's happening here. So we are given a cone here which is 20 centimeters in height and its vertical angle is given to be 60 degrees. Then we are said that it is cut on the middle of its height by a plane parallel to the base. So it is cut here and you will find out that we got a frustum of a cone and then this frustum is drawn into the wire whose diameter is 1 by 16 centimeter. So we have to find out the length of this wire. Now if you had remembered that if we draw one figure into another solid then the volume in both the cases remains the same. So we can find out the volume of this first term and then we can equate it with the volume of the wire and get the value of length of the wire. So we can calculate the volume of first term first. Now to calculate the volume first of all we should have the radius. So to calculate the radius we just consider this right angle triangle and by considering this right angle triangle we can apply Soka Toa and get the value of radius R1 and R2. So let's apply it. So we'll apply Toa here tan of 30 degrees will be equals to we have to find the value of opposite here and we are given the value of adjacent. So tan is opposite upon adjacent and opposite we have to find out which is R1 whole upon 20. So just put the value R1 will be equals to 20 tan 30 and the value of tan 30 we can calculate from the table it is 1 by root 3. So this will be 20 by root 3. In the similar way we can find out the value of R2 as well by applying 2 R again in this triangle. So tan 30 is equals to R2 and this time height of this triangle is 10. So this will be 10. Now the value of R2 will come out to be 10 upon root 3. And now we can easily calculate the volume of this first term and equate it with the volume of the wire. So we can write down that the volume of first term is equal to the volume of wire and we can find out the volume of first term by a formula which is 1 by 3 pi h r1 square plus r2 square plus r1 r2 and we had already found out the values of r1 and r2. So just put the values this will be 1 by 3 pi the value of h is 10 and in bracket we have to put the values of r1 and r2 so this will be 20 by root 3 whole square plus 10 by root 3 whole square into r1 r2 so put the value of this also this is 20 by root 3 into 10 by root 3. This is equal to the volume of the wire. The volume of the wire is pi r square h since the wire is in the form of cylinder. So this is pi. Diameter of the wire is 1 by 16 so its radius will be equal to 1 by 32. So into 1 by 32 whole square into length of the wire. And now Let's solve this to get the value of L. Pi will get cancelled. And let's simplify this term. So this is 10 by 3. This will come out to be 
400. The square of 20 is 400 and root 3 square is 3. 100 upon 3 plus this will be 200 upon 3 is equals to this will be 1 upon 32 whole square. So it will come out to be 1 upon square of 32 is 1024 into L. Now just cross multiply and get the value of L. So finally this will come out to be 10 by 3 into take the LCM, LCM will be 3. So this will be 400 plus 100, 500, 200, 700, 700 upon 3 into 1024 is equal to L. Now if we further solve this, we'll get the value of L to be 7, 9, 6, 4, 4, 4 centimeters. And if we convert this value into meters, we'll get L will be equal to, we'll just have to divide by 100. So this will be 7964.44 meters. So this much length wire will get by drawing this frustum into the wire.